Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Zach Sproles, everybody. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm feeling good today. I'm Zach. My friends call me Grum. I'm going to figure this out. My friends call me Grum. It's funnier if I don't tell you why. Uh, I'm feeling cute as hell today. I got my pink hummingbird sweatshirt on. Try to freaking stop me. You can't. Hear that, Dan? Huh? Can't stop me. I'm the bad boy of Mankato comedy. I got my little fish earring. Get out of here. Can't stop me. Just did a, a shotgun to hams with a homeless guy outside, Dan, out of his backpack. You think you can stop me? That's a lie. I didn't actually do that. I was wearing my nice sweater, my pink hat with it. I just felt kind of cute, honestly. I'm also in a great mood because my shitty roommate finally moved out. I was sick of his shit. Yeah, we got some people with some bad roommates here. Heck yeah, yeah, he would always do these little things to annoy me. You guys would fucking hate him, such a prick. He always would, he would do things like he would, uh, he would eat something and then he would like do his dishes and put them away like right away after he ate. <laughs> this freaking sadist. He would like, he would start his laundry and he would like, do it, dry it, fold it, and put it away? That's not how you do laundry, dude. Everyone knows it's wash. Wash the next day to get the mildew smell out. Dry, deal with it in three weeks. That's how you freaking do laundry, dude. Stop trying to act better than me. He wouldn't even ever like yell at me for being a bad roommate, too. Like, and sometimes he'd even do my dishes, do my laundry. Like, how the hell am I supposed to grow, dude? You're not thinking about me. Growth is hard enough without you rubbing your, my face in your perfectly folded, fitted sheets and fully made bed. You kidding me, dude? I, I recently almost choked on mashed potatoes. This guy's got three different size towels in his bathroom. Three different sizes. Where are the frickin' bodies hiding, dude? You think I'm not on to you, man? Three sizes of towels. I'm choking on mashed potatoes. You know, and no one feels bad for the guy who chokes on mashed potatoes. Like, that's not a, that's natural selection. That's like when the mouse goes out foraging during peak owl hunting hours. All the other mice are like, oh, you, he knew it was peak owl hunting hours. Except for me, it's like me making the mashed potatoes and explaining to my girlfriend, you know, I actually like the skins in there. It adds a little texture, you know? And then I'm laying there choking on a little baby skin. It's an entry-level chew, dude. I need to choke on, I need to die choking on something manly, like a cigarette or like some razor blades or something. That's how a man goes out. Three sizes of towels? Who the hell is this sadist, dude? <sighs> My girlfriend lives with me now. That's pretty fun. She's not the shitty roommate. And I'm not just saying that because she was the door person today. Um, you know, it's fun. My, my girlfriend's really cool. She's like artistic and pretty and funny. And like she's with me and I cry when I watch anime. It's, she's really swinging under her weight class, if you know what I mean. I'm more like, a, like silly and unthreatening. That's like right where I fall. I think people are confused when they see us in public because she looks like young Erica Badu and I look like I used to run a vape store. And so I think that's confusing for people. We just decided to quit nicotine the same week we moved in together, which has had no consequences whatsoever. 
Communication's been great, you know? No yelling, no immaturity. It's just been awesome. Just two people just doing an awesome job and not using nicotine. I don't even miss it. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, being in a relationship's hard though. You know, like communication in any relationship of any kind is hard. You know, like we're, we're people pleasers. We're like people pleasers. We want to do better. We want to do better for those around us. We want those around us to do better, but we don't want to fucking hear about it. You know, like, have you ever been telling someone about, like, you had a hard day at work or something, and they come back at you, and they're like, you know, maybe it's time to reevaluate your life. Maybe it's time to find where your priorities are and really rework your life so you can execute those things. And you're like, fuck you, dude. I just wanted you to say, like, I was cute and you like my sweater, you know, like, cool hummingbirds, I like the pink. That's what I wanted from you. I didn't come into this Clark's gas station to have you harass me, dude. I came here to vent. <sighs> it's not easy, you know? And we, we care so much, you know, about what people think. We're so worried about we're gonna say the wrong thing or maybe we'll show someone our shiny new thing and they won't like it or maybe we'll learn a cool trick like playing guitar or doing funny little jokes at a VFW just to make you know, people give us a chance, you know? It's, it's, a, it's the cute little things we do, you know? I think, I think that's why it took me so long to come out of the closet, really. I didn't come out as pansexual till 2020. You know, and for those who don't know, pansexual, that means I, I, I like really like attention. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it means I'll sleep with anyone as long as they have a nice butt or even like a pretty cool dog. Um, <laughs> and you know, 2020, that was a bad year to realize you want to kiss everybody. I don't know if you remember that year. Um, I really should have figured it out in marching band. That would have been the time to realize I was pansexual. I'm sure a lot of people say that. But all those like androgynous outfits with the tight little black pants and that slutty little feather in their hat. <laughs> I could have been king, dude. I could have been having, oh. I decided to give it, you know, like 15 more years, you know? Just kind of ride it a little longer. Wait till exactly when I wasn't allowed to kiss anyone to d decide I want to kiss everyone. And it, it didn't go well coming out. Uh, the first person I came out to was my girlfriend at the time. Uh, we had recently gotten into a fight because I had liked a slightly scandalous photo of one of my friends. And I thought I was going like, yeah, girl boss, get it. Get that dosh, fuck those men, take their money. That's what I thought I was doing. According to my girlfriend, it was more like a, do you have feet pics too, kind of thing. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I don't feel like I did anything wrong. It's the exact same thing I would do on any of my guy friends. If they posted a sexy picture, I'd be like, hell yeah, feel yourself, let's go. And she said, well, yeah, but that's different. I said, why? And she's like, you don't want to fuck your guy friends. <laughs> Surprise! I didn't get to come out to my mom either. That was interesting. You know, uh, she comes up to my current partner and she says, hey, do you think Zach's grandma would like his stand-up? To which she replied, well, it's really all about him smoking weed and being gay. <laughs> so I don't know if that's the best idea to bring grandma along, which is true, but like, I think she might have enjoyed it. I don't know. It's not all smoking weed and being gay. That's not all of it. Quit smoking weed lately. <laughs> uh, nowadays, I only really do it if I like am at a party or like if I have some. <laughs> you know, and and. It, 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 was, it was hard, you know? It, it's, it's not an easy thing, you know? And uh, 
I'm proud of us, you know, trying to quit cigarettes, which, like I said, has had no, no repercussions whatsoever. It's been absolutely awesome, and our communication is at a 10. It's fucking sick. You know, t trying to, quitting smoking, you know, only, I might have one, you know, when I'm like playing video games or before work or after work or during work, but <laughs> pretty much quit. And you know, growth like that is hard. I mean, even when I first realized that I wanted, uh, that I wanted to try, you know, maybe kissing a dude or something like that, which I had, which I had done before, but they didn't know about it, that I liked it. Which is problematic, but they were all white dudes. I think that's fine. They'll get over it. And you know, even I first started and it was like, you know, maybe I'm not like a hot guy, you know? Maybe I'm not like one of these hotties that can just be picking up dudes, you know? Walking around town, throwing them in the back of the car, bringing them home. I don't think that's me. And there's all the gay men I even know are like, married, they dress like my freaking uncle, or they're like some sort of seemingly fey like creature that just recently came out of the mist coming out of the jungle. And it's like, I, that's just, how am I supposed to compare? I just want a nice guy to put me over his shoulder, take me to Guitar Center, buy me anything I want. <laughs> I'm a simple guy, I'm not asking for a ton. But yeah, growth is hard, man. It's hard to, like, you know, want to do better and not just, like, just decide you're good enough. That's what a lot of us do. We're just like, yeah, that's all right. You know, I only cry, like, four days a week and only when yelled at, so I should be good. I think I'm doing great. Yeah, and then, you know, that's one thing I really appreciate co about comedy. I see, a, I see a lot of growth in comedy. I started doing comedy, honestly, because my grandpa used to make me laugh all the time. And, you know, it's all about seeing, like, the little moments, you know, the small things. Like, uh, when your cat farts in your girlfriend's face, or, like, a little kid gets hurt, like, just a little bit. Not, like, a lot, but, like, when a little kid gets hurt, just, like, a little bit. It's awesome. I love that shit. And, you know, it's, it, it's important, I think. I think it's really important to laugh a little because it really ends up helping you a lot. Thank you. Love you, Grandpa.